Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the sprig stitch, which is a stitch that you see here before you. And unlike other fans and shell stitches, the sprig stitch is a little bit more dense, uh, creates a little bit more of a solid fabric, uh, and but it's still quite pretty to work up. The stitch is comprised of single crochet stitches and chain stitches so if you're a beginner to fans and shells this is a great stitch to start with thank you so much for joining me please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel let's grab a hook and some yarn and let's get started so today for the sprig stitch you are going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches plus three so make your slip knot Make a foundation chain with a multiple of four stitches plus three. Today I'm going to start by chaining 19. Ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen, and nineteen. Once you have your desired length of starting chain, you're going to start by placing two single crochet stitches in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in from your hook, there's one, two, three, and in that fourth chain, you're going to place two single crochet stitches. Chain two, and work two single crochet stitches in the next chain. Skip the next two chains and work two single crochet in the next stitch. Chain two and work two more single crochet stitches in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches. In the next stitch, work two single crochet stitches. Chain two two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches. Work two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Chain two and two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. So continue to repeat that all the way down the length of your chain. When you come to your final two stitches, you're simply going to skip the next stitch and place one single crochet stitch in that final chain. For row two, you are going to begin by chaining three stitches. You will now work your sprig stitches by working in each of the chain two spaces all the way across. So you're going to skip all the stitches in between. You've chained your three. In that next chain two space, you are going to work two single crochet stitches, chain two, and two more single crochet stitches all in the same chain two space. Skip the next four single crochet stitches and in the next chain two space work two single crochet stitches, chain two, and two more single crochet stitches. Continue to repeat that all the way across. In the next chain two space work two single crochet stitches, chain two, and two more single crochet stitches in the same space. In your next chain two space, work two single crochet stitches, chain two, and two more single crochet stitches. When you come to your final uh, starting chain three, that turning chain, you're going to work one single crochet stitch in that turning chain. 
for the rest of that pattern, you, this pattern, you are simply going to repeat that row two. So start by chaining three, turn your work, and work your sprig stitches in those chain two spaces. So uh, two single crochet in the next chain two, then chain two, followed by two more single crochet stitches. Repeat that all the way across. In the next chain two space, work two single crochet stitches, chain two, and two more single crochet stitches. So you're going to have these uh, V stitches, these single crochet V stitches all lining up. They're always worked in your chain two spaces. When you come back to your starting chain three there, don't forget to place one final single crochet stitch in that starting chain three. Then chain three, turn your work, and you're ready to start all over again. Thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the sprig stitch. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.